Two Jack Rose! Two Jack Rose! We did it. We made it. We finally have a set where it looks like you'd go to learn Tai Chi and get your butthole tickled. <laughs> All at the same time. Mm-hmm. So if you're uh, viewing us on YouTube right now, you're definitely checking out our new vibe. If you're listening to us, you're hearing it. You're hearing it. Yeah. Change is good. And you're feeling, you're feeling that change exude out of us as we engage in podcasting. (laughs) 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 I didn't know how I was going to finish. Just kind (laughs) of feeling the vibe, feeling good and feeling the vibe. You're talking about all this change. Um, I'm going to be 40 in a couple days, Sydney. Oh, man. How do you feel about that? I don't know. I don't yeah. know. That's a lot of life. That's a lot of years on this earth. Like, I feel like um, you can't you can't have excuses once you're 40, you know? Yeah, you're either dumb or wise. Yeah. You got to pick one. Yeah, you do. It's very binary at 40. I agree. There's no figuring it out anymore. You better know it. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you lo- your past is gone. You also like, have to know how to use it. Yeah. You can't just know it. You can't just be like, I'm a person that's like this. It's mm-hmm. like, yeah, you better have now to make that not suck. Because <laughs> right now it fucking sucks. Yeah, you don't want to be over 40 and have a shitty personality, huh? Over 40 and suck. You've got to know how to use your personality at 40. I don't right. care where you are, what situation or context you're in. You should know how to utilize your personality in that So scenario. you should have a little charm. A little bit of charm. Or at least, again, it doesn't have to be charm. I think, I think that's expecting much. I think I would prefer charm. Yeah. I love charm. But in that making your personality work, that's charm. It's also, it can be a level of autism, you know, just like buying like ones and twos, like figuring <laughs> out how to make a personality work. That's how like hmm. autistic uh, dudes were uh, getting pussy for a while because they were just following mysteries. Oh, pick up yeah. On this handbook. Yeah. Right. They you were. Can, you can be buying pick up a handbook <laughs> on conversations. Fair enough. And learn how to not suck at one. Yeah. That's all you got to do is not suck. Yeah. You're 40. Stop fucking sucking. You suck. You think I'll be okay? I think you're all right. You're transitioning. <laughs> I'm nervous. You're transitioning in pretty good. <laughs> okay. That's why once you get 40, you have no patience for people that suck. You're like, oh my God, still? Yeah. Still? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, are you kidding me? 40 years. 40 years to figure that out. You didn't, you're not going to get it. You, if you didn't get it in 40, you're not going to get it. Well, it's also you have less tolerance for, for, there's a phase. It's like 40 to 50, you have no tolerance for uh, people that haven't figured it out, even, at, even though they're, that are younger. Yeah. You know? And then, like, in your 50s and 60s, you're like, ah, well, they're still young. Yeah. It's not like they're 40. <laughs> yeah. How do you, so when you look at your 40s, you look at your approaching 40s, you look back on your life, mm. what, what do you, that was, a, that was quite a breath you took. Mm. <laughs> I didn't even ask the question yet, and you were already deep. Mm. I'm, I'm 40 now. I make noises yeah. like that. <laughs> or I'm do almost. You, do, you, do you feel accomplished? Do you feel unaccomplished? Do you feel like you want more out of life? I mean, Clearly, you want more out of life, right? Because you, you can't stop wanting more out of life. Mm, no, you can't give up at 40. No, no, <laughs> That's no. too soon. I don't even want to hear you say no to that. <laughs> yeah, you took <laughs> that back like, real quick. No, 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 no. You want more out of life. <laughs> this is it, Cindy. <laughs> We're not giving up, Anthony. <laughs> yeah, still more. Still more. Yeah. I don't know. Um, I think I keep coming back to I've got a beautiful little family. Got a beautiful family. You know, that kind of, that that's an ace card that trumps yeah. it all I've, i got lost in those card um analogies yeah but uh <laughs> one card analogy that's an ace so in the hole i wanted to put something in a hole <laughs> yeah um put it up your sleeve Ace yeah. up sleeve. yeah so you know you can't you can always fall back on that i think yeah um it's, yeah it is easy to say well i do have a beautiful family right you know no, I didn't do this. No, I didn't do that. No, I didn't do this. No, I didn't do that. A long list of things that I haven't <laughs> been able to accomplish or even kind of start setting goals towards. <laughs> but. Beautiful family. <laughs> Beautiful. They're not fighting right now? No. <laughs> <laughs> Every, I'm not screaming at them right now. It's a beautiful family. <laughs> beautiful family. Um, you know, I've done, I've done some things. We moved around a little bit. We've seen a little bit. Yeah. Um, you know, I've got a job. I know how to work hard. I enjoy jujitsu. I'm, I'm living life. I've got, you know what? I think I, I think there's another thing to be proud of. I think I've got better friends right now than I've ever had before in my life. Great friends. Gosh, right? there's no substitute for that. Yeah. It's like it, if it, if it takes you until 40 to figure out how to not have shitty friends, God bless you. At least you figured it out. 
Yeah. That is key. You don't want to be 40 with shitty friends. Like people messing with you and like, yes. you know, like, like subtly dragging you down. You know, like you've got family that you can't get rid of for that. Like you don't need friends doing that. Uh, absolutely. Like friends that are trying to raise their self-esteem by lowering yours. Yeah. Yeah. You that don't is, need that. Ugh. Don't need those friends. No. Don't no. need those friends. So figured that out. So that's a good thing. Yeah. All right. 40. Yeah. About to be 40. You look good. Thank you. You look good for 40. Thank you. I mean, I feel, I mean we've, we've, we've been with each other since we were kids. We, we. When we were young enough to not have anything figured out and yeah. nobody got mad at us. Yeah, the people were pretty bad at us. <laughs> people were pretty bad. By the way, we they were, forgave us. We were raised together. <laughs> raised together if you think about that like tw- like 20 and 19 is yeah when we met yeah or were you were you 18, 18? You were i was 18. i was barely 18 sydney was it before Dude, september 8th preferably barely <laughs> 18 yeah yeah met you like i like them <laughs> <laughs> speaking of you heard about r kelly right Yes. <laughs> are you kidding me? What are you talking about? Have you heard about R. Kelly? And his it's one of the stories of the century. <laughs> and how the the um male victim stepped forward? Oh. Little dudes? Yeah, did you hear what he Is said R. happened? Kelly diddling little dudes? Well, so Was yeah. it a young dude? Yeah, he was like barely eighteen. <laughs> no, he might have been seventeen. I don't know. I didn't even like focus if anything, on anything, he's consistent. He was young. He can was I, young. Can I say this before you even tell me the story? Yeah. Yeah. I don't believe it. You don't believe it? No. Wait till you hear the story. I think I you're going to be like. R. Kelly is way too heterosexual for that. Yeah? Yeah. I think R. Kelly's main problem is he suffers from heterosexuality. <laughs> 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 he is infected with chronic heterosexuality. He's a pathological heterosexual. <laughs> for sure. Criminally. He's criminally heterosexual. Yeah. That's what got him into trouble. <laughs> you ready? Yeah, I'm ready for this. But I'm, I'm, listen, you heard my bias. Yeah. This is going to be a very tough bias to overcome. I, I think I know how. Um, it's, I, think, I think this you're going to believe this story. Okay. You're going to change one thing into it, in it, but the rest of, you're going to be fine with the rest of it. All right. I'm listening. I'm, I'm willing. And again, listen, I am not defending R. Kelly. He's a monster. Oh, he's disgusting. Absolute monster. You know, uh, I don't want to say if those things are true because this, this is, he videotaped it himself. Right. He chronicled his, his criminal heterosexuality. Uh, yeah. And his underage yeah. fetish. But this is, again, but. this is the first time I'm hearing of a, of a little dude. Yeah. So I'm very curious to hear about this. So he might have been 17. I don't know. I did. I got, yeah. you know, so yeah. he and invited him. Being truthful and honest. That's right? all we ask from you. Be, yeah, right. Be right. truthful and tell the truth. Be be truthful. Tell the truth and be truthful. Mm-hmm. That's how I feel. Mm-hmm. I'm not nothing against this little guy. He's probably very attractive. I'm not saying he's not attractive enough for R. Kelly. I'm not saying he's not. I don't know what R. Kelly's into. See, R. Ke- see, he kept. Um, I want to tell you before I tell you the story. He said he kept coming back to R. Kelly because he really wanted to be make it in the music industry. Like he was an aspiring yeah. singer. And so he had this connection with R. Kelly. And so R. Kelly invited him over to his place one time. Okay. And R. Kelly was like, hey, you know, you ever thought about dudes? And he was like, nah, nah, nah. And R. Kelly said, um, I don't know. I don't know what R. Kelly said. <laughs> Do you know what he looks like? Do you know what he looks like? Like, no. is, he, is he effeminate looking? Is he slight? I, I didn't see a picture is of him. Is he light skin? <laughs> I don't know. I don't have any of these answers. Does he look, does he look like somebody who's teetering? On the uh, fence of dudes and women. I don't know. You know? I don't know. I don't know, man. So then R. Kelly went over and gave him oral sex. Is what he says. And then he says on another time that they were together. <laughs> they, that doesn't um, sound R. Kelly like. If you listen to any of the other stories, that, yeah. doesn't, that doesn't make sense. All right. Well, tell me if this sounds like an R. Kelly story. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. It might make sense. There, there, yeah. is, there is one story that I remember that, that is pretty hilarious about R. Kelly. So it's not hilarious. It's horrific. But <laughs> Just keep reminding <laughs> yeah, us all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we got to be it's, reminded that it it's is It's hilarious because R. Kelly is so shockingly horrible of a human being. There you go. You cannot believe. The shockingness of it. So there was uh, he brought this young girl over. And he, she wanted to be a singer, you know, yeah. as is always the case. Yeah. Right? She wanted to be a singer. 
And he was like, because he's over 40 and he learned how to make his personality work. Basically, <laughs> do you find R. Kelly charming? Is what you're saying? <laughs> no, right? That's right. not necessarily charming. <laughs> right. So R. Kelly brought her over and she was going to audition for him. And he was like, listen, before you audition for me, I got to come. I can't listen to auditions and all this come in me. <laughs> come over here and make me come, girl. And she was like, ill. Yeah. I did not come here to get you off. I came here to audition. He was like, all right, then let me eat your pussy. <laughs> <laughs> and then he ate her pussy <laughs> and let her audition. <laughs> so, I mean. It could have gone down like that. Like, he could have yeah. been like, do me. And he was like, no, no, no. And like, R. Kelly was fine. Like, I'll, I'll do fine. you. Somebody's got to come. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I cannot have you audition with all this come. <laughs> <laughs> Someone has to come. Yeah. All right. So another time when they were together, he went into um, a room with R. Kelly. R. Kelly snapped his fingers three times and summoned a naked girl to come out from underneath a boxing ring and gave him and the victim oral sex. Oh, now that I believe. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like R. Kelly. <laughs> right? I think that happened for sure. Yeah. I think he tried to just grandf. Oh, and R. Kelly's talking about dick too. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's what happened. <laughs> Man, I'm glad we got to the bottom of this story. Yeah. Second part for sure. First part, we'll see. <laughs> Did R. Kelly videotape it? Uh, no, I don't think no, he had it. Happen. Or at least he didn't have the videotape of it. Yeah, I don't think it happened, man. I don't think that happened. That is the first I am hearing of R. Kelly and a, a dude. Yeah. I don't know. That's tough. That's tough for that dude. Yeah. You think people are outright believing that? Definitely <laughs> believe in the second part. Yeah. The second part is for sure true. Yeah. You, yeah it, it leaves you with some questions, but you're like, definitely happened. Yeah. Like, how long was that girl under that boxing ring for? That's, and are you in a gym or is this in his house? Like, what room did you like? Because it wasn't like he walked into a gym. It was like he walked into a room. Yeah. And a girl came out from the under, like naked. Like, did she did she have like a board game, a book, and some food under there? Like, yeah, yeah. yeah. Or maybe underneath that boxing ring, there was like a trap door and a whole other room down there. He did seem like he had rooms on rooms. Yeah. But no, he just like locked people in bathrooms and stuff. You don't know how big that bathroom was. True. True. Could have been. A huge, luxurious bathroom with, like, TVs, sofas. <laughs> True. You know? Also, my thing is, what happens when R. Kelly snaps once? <laughs> if the third snap is a naked woman coming, like, if she's counting snaps. Yeah. <laughs> like, she, I, guess, I guess she couldn't be in a whole another room. She has to be in earshot to count snaps. She's got to be on, on alert for snaps all the time. And is it only three? Is there a fourth snap? Is she, like, just... She doesn't know what to do until. All right, that's me. Yeah. <laughs> is it the girl in the closet? Is it the girl under the ring? Is it the girl like how many girls do you have stashed in there? Man, dude, just I, I, you just imagine all those other girls like, oh, thank God it's not me. Yeah. Like snap, snap one girl. Yeah. When she hears the second snap, she's like, oh, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, God. <laughs> and he had a real house of horrors going on there. Again, we don't know how these women were treated outside of the ridiculous acts that they had to Well, none perform. of them that came forward after the fact seemed happy about it. Well, no. I mean, they were they they kind of got manipulated into doing that. They yeah. got they got manip they kind they were, of they kind of got it. Well, I mean, well they it was kind of because they were groomed. They were groomed into it, right? Yeah. It's not like they he took an adult and was like you're going to come do this. <laughs> You're going to come sit under my box. And <laughs> like he was, he learned how to make his personality work so well that he could tell a girl that she was going to sit naked under a boxing ring and wait for him to snap three times and come out and suck whatever <laughs> dick she saw in the room. <laughs> like that's what that girl agreed to do. All right. Maybe R. Kelly was charming. I take it back. <laughs> yeah. Maybe R. Kelly is, the, maybe he's criminally charming. Maybe. <laughs> He is, that's why he's a menace to society. Lock that man up Dude, in jail. He is pathologically charming. Yeah. It's like, yeah, we gotta we gotta get lock him up and set and throw away the key. And then every time you go they go to lock up R. Kelly, like they're walking him to jail. That's dude, every time we see him walking to and fro a courthouse, he's smiling. Yeah. Dude, they're probably sucking his dick. <laughs> like all the cops, all the lawyers, all the judges. That's his 
superpower. <laughs> yeah, he can get everybody's dick sucked. <laughs> yeah. Like anybody around yeah. him is everybody just looks happy around him. Everybody's calm. <laughs> like anybody who's in a ten foot vicinity of him. Judge, before this trial starts, I need to come. So can you come down here and help me come, Judge? <laughs> no? Well let me suck your dick. <laughs> <laughs> No, you're not going to suck my dick. I'm a professional. All right, just suck my dick. All right, fine. <laughs> he just yeah. daffy duck, bugs bunny him. And yeah. Suck his dick. Yeah. That is, uh, yeah, it's pretty, uh, it's pretty wild. I don't know if I believe it, though. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see I'm what comes out. Stand my ground on that. Yeah. Or Kelly's a monster, but I don't think he's monstering dudes. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, that's, uh, I'm not shocked, though, that that's the story you came out with because everything that, you find entertaining it's softcore porn. Oh, I've got more for you. <laughs> you <got> more so- <laughs> which which softcore porn? <laughs> Wait, where do you every want me to I, start? Every time I'm, I'm watching you watch a movie, it's only a matter of time before the softcore porn starts or anything. That's because you're every movie that's for not a like child cartoon is either gonna have murder in it or softcore porn. You choose murder. I choose softcore porn. I can't even Soft say Soft corn porn? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, soft corn porn, huh? And plus, you think soft core porn is as soon as a chick is in a bathing suit. As soon as you see skin, you accuse well, me no, of watching she's, porn. If she's doing any... If, if once... Sometimes things sensual, are artistic. Sensual. It's artistic, some once, of the things once I watch. Once part of a movie or a show where a woman Any starts being sensual. Then it's soft. That's softcore porn for a woman. Sensuality, yes, so, for sure. So you watch, how many, and I'm sure you find every show that you watch has no sensuality in it. Come on. Pretty pretty much, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> pretty you much. just watch yelling conservatives. No, I watch a lot of sci-fi. <laughs> and it uh, that has sensuality in it. Yeah, but they're Don't, aliens. It's different. Uh, you got to uh, diddle an alien. Are you kidding me? It does. It counts. It doesn't count. It counts. It's science. It's, it's not, not science. It's not soft porn. It's it science. Is, that is not true. Yeah, I uh, Wonder Woman, the, the show you were watching about Wonder Woman the other day was no, soft that, porn? No, that was. That was yeah. a movie or a show? It was a movie. Yeah. That was ridiculous. What was so ridiculous about it? So, so much porn. So, and to each their own. Are you 40 or not? I am 40. Are you going to let people do what they want to do or are you going to police the no, neighborhood? No, I'm not going to let people do what they want to do. <laughs> they need to figure this shit out. <laughs> <laughs> Start doing what you need to do. Okay? <laughs> You're 40. I'm 40. <laughs> Did you know that um, there's a World Association for Sexual Health? It's WASH for short. World. <laughs> <laughs> Wash your dick. <laughs> I keep imagining, like the women, the article that I was reading this about was um, African women. So, like, I'm imagining, like, guys in hot Africa and they're like, Wash yeah. your dick. Come on. It's sandy. It's hot. You think in Africa they have dirtier dicks than America? <laughs> Are you, are you going on the record saying that you think Absol- African dicks Absolutely are dirty? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. But like, they're also not wearing jeans in Africa. That's right? true. They're That's wearing, true. You know, they're like a lot, a lot of, uh, what are they called? Swinging Daishiki, dicks. A lot, of th- yeah, a lot of swinging dicks. Yeah. A lot of swinging, like, like catching them, creating breezes down That's, there. That's, yeah, propeller. A little like, cyclone. Yeah. yeah. It keeps uh, it air, out, air down on yeah, its sides. Yeah, it's like convection. It, makes, it, keeps the, it keeps the hot air rising instead of just staying at the, the dick level. Yeah, yeah. So they have, um, in 2019, they published a paper called, or published um, a work called The Declaration on Sexual Pleasure. Because they're out there trying to make sure that women all over the word, world are, have access to sexual pleasure. Damn. Mm-hmm. They're trying, man, that's, uh, I don't think that should go global. I think that should be a state-by-state state thing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we should globally mandate sexual pleasure for women. <laughs> I think we should let states and local municipalities decide <laughs> on whether or not women should have access to sexual pleasure. <laughs> it's got to be global. We've got to make it. We've got to give access to all. Like people can take it and do what they want with it, but everybody's got to have access. Yeah. What do you think women are going to do with all this sexual pleasure? Enjoy it. No. Why don't you want your women out there sexually pleased? What are you worried about? Who's going to do it? Wh- whoever they ask. They're going to RBR Kelly. 
They're just going to you know, snap their fingers. <laughs> Somebody's <laughs> going to come out and take care of them. Yeah? Yeah. If they so want it, if they feel empowered enough to make that happen, sure. Man, if that became the rule for even one day, the very next day, no woman would ever snap or make a sharp sound. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> There'd be men lurking <laughs> under every surface. Is like, that a snap? Is that a snap? <laughs> <laughs> Is she sna- are you snapping? I'm sorry, were you snapping? <laughs> Dude, they'd be like wearing soft bottom shoes. <laughs> like, women would be around. Quietest. That's why Dude, men are rats and women are cats. I'm telling right? you, that's. I'm telling this history is cyclical. Remember when women were seen and not heard? Mm-hmm. That shit was by choice. <laughs> <laughs> this happened before Avery. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Did you? Uh, so I'm just, I'm just out here trying to protect women. <laughs> well, so you can unravel this because I don't have enough information on this, but in. Um, Trump and Pompeo, when they were in office, they said we wouldn't sign anything in the U.N. that mentioned sexual health. They're like, we're not going to do it. And for whatever reason, that resulted in significant changes to uh, resolutions on sexual violence. Like sexual violence went down a lot. Oh, wow. I don't know why. Like the, the article just had one sentence about that. And I was like, I read it three times. I was like, what? Dude, I, that, that is something that Trump gets no credit for. The masterful way that he came through was like, these two things aren't connected. Change that. Yeah, yeah. You know? And then, like, he changed something. Oh, oh, okay, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know why that works. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) I was highly offended when I started reading that, and then I was like, oh, okay. Yeah. But that's like, that was all of Trump's presidency. (laughs) Yeah. Wait, what? Oh, my goodness. Wow. (laughs) (laughs) Wow. Okay. Okay, Trump. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> and you know in Ghana right now there's eight members of parliament that are pushing a bill that makes it illegal illegal not only to be gay but also to be an ally <laughs> it's a le- they want it to be illegal to be call yourself an ally <laughs> damn <laughs> that's wild right they're like that's Taliban tactics yeah you know yeah it's like it's illegal to be gay or you can't be a gay translator <laughs> you can't, mm. can't help gays whatsoever don't be associated or else you're going down too what does it even mean and i in ghana i have no idea like how do they test how would they test people (laughs) because there's gonna be a time where you you know that and any any type of um social incrimination push right where people are being incriminated for thought crimes yeah right because i mean for the most part we we can dwindle uh Sexuality is either happening in your head or on a person. Okay. Right? Yeah. At all times. Yeah. Because right? like you have sexuality right now. Like, we yeah. both have sexuality right now. Yeah. Right? Like, our sexuality exists. You're sitting across from a... You just want to snap on me. <laughs> do I? I don't know. I, I want you to snap on me. <laughs> yeah, you, you do. got to snap me time. No, I'm silent. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Just sitting here wanting to snap on each other. <laughs> snapping on each other. And, um... But, you, you know, so it's in our minds. Yeah. Right. So there's got to be a way you can test whether or not somebody is at least an ally. Yeah. Right. This, how would you how would you how would you if you wanted to lock up allies, <laughs> you're just walking down the street and you need to, like, uncover some secret allies. Yeah. What are you going to do? I mean, I think for guys, I'd be like looking at how tight their pants are, like how skinny their jeans are. Mm. That's what. That's always what liberals do. They always <laughs> go to some sort of aesthetic thing. I don't know. What are you, you going to do? I'm going to walk into a room and I'm just going to go, Yas Queen, and just look around <laughs> see what people do. <laughs> <laughs> You're just going to walk in and start singing a show tune? Yeah. See who joins in? No, no, no. You, you got uh, to start singing a Megan Thee Stallion lyric. Yeah. <laughs> if that many dudes finish <laughs> Hot girl. And just like wait for people to be like, summer. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how to find allies. But when I find them, I'm going to get them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're not catch you being an ally. <laughs> <laughs> that is crazy. Like yeah. that is, um, that is as insane. They're, they're trying to end homosexuality. They're yeah. trying to nip it at the bud. Yeah. They're trying to get rid. They're trying to completely cut it out of their society. Yeah, anybody who's doing it and anybody who's okay with it. Yeah, 
They're like, we tried it. We don't like it. Go back in the closet. I mean, well, it's not everybody. You know, it's like eight people in their parliament. It's, so it's like, yeah. you know, different extremes. Just like every country has extremes. It's on the table. Yeah, it's on the table, for it's sure. It's on the table. I mean, there's definitely like a, a portion of Ghanans who support that. Yeah. That's how it gets on the table. Yeah. <laughs> that's yeah, that's, that's wild. I mean, again... You know, America, greatest country on earth. We don't got that shit here. No, no, no. You know what else made me appreciate uh, America? Every time, every time I read about this, I appreciate America. The raping that happens in India. Good God. There's a lot of raping in India? Oh, my goodness. It's like all they do, I think. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, because there's, you know, like they, they're not, they don't have caste systems anymore, but they were banned 50 years ago, I think, and the caste systems over there had been around for over 2000 years. Mm -hmm. So it's like, yeah, we don't do that anymore. But people are like, Oh, I, I know what caste, like what group yeah. of people you're part of, but you know, you still look like you look. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So there's like the lowest caste is the Dalit and they're the, they're the untouchables. Mm -hmm. So people just treat them however they want. Like if you bought into that, how would you treat a untouchable little girl? You know, like, yeah, well, that's, that's, that's just, that is the point that I make about slavery in its association with racism. It's like, yeah, it got ugly. Slavery, of course, because they were people's slaves. Yeah. It didn't get ugly because they were black. They got it got ugly because they were slaves. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Like that is how that shit goes. Like if you are um categorized as a certain level of person, yeah. This is your station, you will get treated accordingly. Yeah. It it goes from top to bottom. Yeah. You know? And this is the bottom. Yeah. The bottom gets raped. Yeah. You know, which is always like when people are like, oh, it's such and such. She's not even attractive to get raped. It's like, well, that's part of the problem. Yeah. <laughs> you know that in India, two little girls were beaten to death because they got caught pooping out in the open, but they were of this lower class cast. You think women of higher caste just poop out in the open? Is that the point you're trying to make right now? I'm saying You God, think hot chicks in India could just poop wherever they want? Maybe. <laughs> maybe. I think everybody would, you know, turn their head if they didn't like it, but. So you think Africans have dirty dicks? <laughs> I don't like where you this is. You think was... pretty Indian women can poop wherever they want? <laughs> maybe. Maybe I do. I'm 40, so what? <laughs> do you do you fashion yourself a pretty Indian woman, Ansley? <laughs> <laughs> Are you a pretty Indian? You got to answer. You got to answer. So the, the latest rape over there that's got everybody outraged yeah. is was a nine year old girl. There were four Hindu guys, or it's it's there were four guys. One was like a Hindu priest, and they did it. Um, she died, and the pr the priest of the town told the mom at first she was electrocuted. And then he convinced the mom that they should cremate her. And she was like, shouldn't we do call the police? Like, she wasn't electrocuted, you know? And he was like, no, no, no. Calling the police would be a hassle. And she was like, oh, okay, you're right. So they burned yeah. the body. But then the town, like, got outraged and demanded justice. And so these men have been arrested. And you we're think they raped so much that they have, like, weird little nicknames for someone being raped to death? Like, when she said like, electrocuted, oh. like, he was supposed to know exactly what she meant? I don't know. Maybe. He's like, whoa, 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 no, no, I told you she was electrocuted. We got to call the police. Yeah, you yeah, know? yeah. Like, what, are you, what are you doing here? Yeah, maybe. You know? I don't know. This is this really sticks in your core. I mean, I remember when I was trying to talk about the Taliban a little bit ago. You're like, I can't. They rape too much. And now you have a story about too much rape. <laughs> too much. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah. It's just, it's just, it's, it's just, you know, America's a pretty great place for women. It, you know, I think that's fair. Yeah. I think that's fair. Like, yeah. women, women are fierce over here. Yeah. You know? Yeah, you know, fierce like CEOs and shit. I'm watching all the soft core porn I want, and I'm telling my husband to shut up. Yeah, look at Mind you. Mind your business. Look at you. Yeah, pooping wherever you want. <laughs> <laughs> if I wanted to, <laughs> if I wanted to. Yeah, that's uh. All right, let's get into this show a little bit. I think yeah. that I think that was I think that showed our level of human. <laughs> <I think. laughs> I think you know who we are now as people, uh -huh. right? Welcome to Two Jack Bros. First of all, welcome to this brand new set of ours, too. If this is your first time checking out Two Jack Bros, thank you. And you're welcome for this beautiful set. Look at us. Look at us go. But uh, what we do on Two Jack Bros, we call ourselves the uh, the conscious, the high, the consciousness podcast for people that just have inappropriate sense of humor, right? You have an inappropriate sense of humor, yet you still believe that you are not exempt from a higher consciousness or maybe even enlightenment, even. Even. Right? 
You can dream big, right? It might happen. You listened to who we were as people and what we find funny, and we're trying. <laughs> we're gonna, you know, and if we do it, if we can achieve it, you know, we ha- we laid down the groundwork for you to follow and achieve it this way. Yeah. You know, it's uh, one of the things that we like to do in order to set this path moving forward is our apologies. We like to apologize to any person, place, or thing that might deserve it for the week. Uh, some something that might have happened or a thought that might have crossed your mind that maybe you feel like you need to balance out your energy for and just even things out, get back to neutral. Mm-hmm. Anthony, what do you got? So this week I want to say my bad to young couples. Mm. Like, you know, people in their 20s trying to trying to have an honest relationship with each other, yeah. you know? So I went into Wawa today and I saw a couple. I know the guy in the couple. I don't really know the girlfriend, right? And I was walking behind them and I was like, hey, to the guy. And he was like, hey. And, you know, it's a jujitsu person. And so there's like, I feel like there's like a weird level of familiarity with like people you do jujitsu with, you know? Yeah. And hey, I know what your sweat tastes like. Yeah. You're with your girlfriend. Cool. Cool. (laughs) Yeah. 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 It's like weird. Like, yeah, it is. It's, it's, yeah, there's a lot of familiarity. And like the food number was getting called for them, like their sandwiches. So like he walked away and like there was like, and then he came back and then, um, then we all got introduced and you know, like, I think I had met her before, but she was Mm. like, you know, she didn't know who I was. Awesome lady. Chick. Yeah. Yeah. Cool girl. And, um, and it was just like, like from the change in her, when she realized it was like, oh, this is Sydney's wife. And yeah, she was yeah. like, oh, I've heard so much about <laughs> you. Like, it was like, she was like, guard down, you know? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> and uh, it was just like, like, I didn't even like think about this, this young couple trying to make it in life and how my over enthusiastic, like, hey, might have like yeah. affected them, you know? Titty's like, coming at us. One o'clock. <laughs> do something about it. <laughs> You know, like usually I'm Keep with your man. <laughs> 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 that's dude, that's what it, when you're a young couple and you're still trying to figure it out. Yeah. You know what I mean? And you don't know. It's like the person that you're with is free to go whenever they want. Whenever they want. Whenever they want. Yeah. You know, it's like you want this person. It's like, how do I make sure this person doesn't just go whenever they want? <laughs> but also not like. But also, this person should want me. You know, I can go whenever I yeah, want. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it's a lot of balance of power and dynamics going non-stop. on there. Nonstop. Yeah. It's, it's a constant ebb and flow where it's just back and forth. You're like, please don't go. You're like, nah, whatever, yo. You, I gave you the change around <laughs> here. The next day, you're like, please don't go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And you normally, you know, I have the kids with me, so I'm like a, a lot less threatening oh, to yeah. a couple, right? And I didn't like factor that into the equation You're out there in your leggings yeah you know looking all <laughs> fashionable yeah with no kids in tow i was like walking into wawa yeah, yeah you, dude the, the the amount of glee that you had <laughs> from not had the weightlessness and glee that you had from not having kids uh-huh. is flirting <laughs> I, I i skipped right into wawa <laughs> you did, like, I flirted with the whole store <laughs> Look at this day. <laughs> Any woman that goes anywhere without her kids, she can't help it. She's flirting. Stop <laughs> flirting. Stop it. Go get your kids. <laughs> You're a trollop without your kids. <laughs> you need to get your kids. You're 40. Go get your kids. <laughs> so, you know, my apologies to them. You know, luckily that situation was easily averted, you know, yeah. by, by my association with you and all, but you know, I know it's hard out there and I don't want to, I don't want to flirt with you when I go out without my kids. I yeah. just can't help it. Dude, it's tough. Man. You'll you, get it when you're, <laughs> you'll yeah, get young, it one young, day. Young coupling's hard too, man. Yeah. Young couple, like I, you forget how hard it is. Yeah. You know, like, like we're, you know, we're, we've been together for like over two decades. You know, we're really comfortable with our relationship. We like our relationship. We like our family. You know, we're, 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 we're the, the things that we're trying to maintain right now is like family level of comfort. We're not trying to stay together. Right, right. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like like the idea of like what you wanna you wanna leave me? What? What are you doing? <laughs> you're you're <Okay>. stuck. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I know. I wouldn't even like, like oh. why? <laughs> like you know you're gonna like, it's gonna be a whole new person. You know that, right? <laughs> you know that, right? <laughs> like that is the nightmare of a scenario for me. <laughs> To have yeah. to learn how to work a whole new person. It's like, are you <laughs> fucking kidding me? No, thank you. No, thank you. You know, but uh, 
the the excitement when you're young it's like i get to work a whole new person yeah like, I'll, go, I'll go find a new person to work and, and figure work, out yeah and look at do my personality yeah, like, on. you don't want that yeah <laughs> i promise you you don't want that i was i saw this um girl this black chick put up a video the other day and like i don't necessarily condone uh young girls getting with much older guys i, I feel like that's um I feel like they're kind of like robbing those those girls of their youth in a, in a way. Yeah, you know? yeah. And it's um, because all you got to do when you're an older guy to get like a young hot chick is to be like, yo, you're not like the other chicks your age. <laughs> and it's like you got her now. Yeah, you know? yeah. So she, she put up something. It was like, I was 20. He was in his, he was almost 50. And he treated me with respect. He built my self-esteem. He made sure that I was going to school and got a degree and doing all this stuff. And I, I felt just so like my dad. <laughs> I wish I had. She goes, I felt so confident because of what he made me into that. I thought I didn't need him anymore. And now I've been in one toxic relationship after the other guys that are constantly gaslighting me and like, Oh, la, 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 la. yeah. So yeah, you that's what a new guy is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. new, it sounds like it sounds like you got into new relationships yeah. <laughs> after an old relationship. Yeah, right? yeah, horrific. It, yeah, sounds <laughs> horrific. Yeah, could you imagine talking to a, a, like like a forty year old where they're like, "I wasn't disrespecting you. I just wanted to have fun." Oh, <laughs> like, oh my god! <laughs> what have I done? <laughs> 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 Yeah. So, all right, young couples. Ansley apologizes. Yeah. Yeah. She forgot what it was like to be a young couple. No, I was just skipping around, happy, flirting with the world. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Out there I see you out there all. <laughs> young couples with her yeah. no children having ass. <laughs> just out there trolloping around. Man, that's funny that you say that because my apology ironically goes out to old couples oh man yeah. <laughs> we when hurting the couples what well, do we <laughs> i mean like so when old oh there's like this this thing that's really trendy or in vogue right now like when old couple parts ways it gets aired out on facebook like when one dies or when they no no, no separate separate this is how a, old this is do you have to be situation. to get make it to facebook uh so the, these people are in their mid to late 30s Oh, okay. You know, and I saw this. So guy. that'd be like us if we went our separate ways. Basically. Okay. And then like they start airing it out on Facebook. We're like, stop acting like y'all didn't like that shit till it ended. You know what I mean? Because like, remember we said, we said uh, this, when but, people say the weird butt stuff that they did in their relationship. Well, well, <laughs> well, kind of. It's like when people, people after a relationship, they, uh, uh, this, they, they, this sucked about them. This sucked about them. It's like that stuff didn't suck until it was over. Yeah. You know? That's why you're mentioning it. Because yeah. it's what you know about that person. Yeah. So. This guy, he he airs out on Facebook. He's a comedian, a guy on the comedy scene. And he kind of airs out like the divorce that he's going through. Yeah. And he's like, everything just seemed like it was fine. And we we're just, and then she's just up and left. And yeah, granted, we were going to marriage counseling. And yeah, <laughs> uh, you know, she's the, the primary financial provider. <laughs> it's just like, dude, it's horrific. This yeah. is a horrific thing. So like she she uh she makes all the money. Yeah. He's a male feminist type. Uh-huh. And he, he, dude, it's I, I got I gotta read some of this. It says, uh oh yeah, so last year she went through some really tough personal stuff recently and she was she was left to uh hang out at her family home for a while. And then while she was away, her behavior started to become different and confusing. Uh, and every interaction I had with her was more and more hostile over a period of four to five days, you know. And it was like she was getting away from her whiny bitch ass and realizing she didn't want to go back to that. Uh. Like, that's another thing, too. Don't, don't fucking suck. Like, you're getting too close to 40 to still be sucking like this. Yeah. Right? And it's, uh, dog, do, so it, it's, it's just, ins- I'm... I'm 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 shell shocked. I'm in disbelief. I'm heartbroken, anxious, and deeply sad. I'm sure she has her own perspective, but to me, her entire life just blew up needlessly. Our our entire life. So think about this. She's the uh, primary financial provider for this relationship. He has a kid from a different relationship that he has to pay some sort of financial support to. Yeah. If she's the primary financial provider provider for that. 
that means she's paying his support. Right. Right. And you get to around 40 and you're like, this shit ain't adding up. Yeah. You know what I mean? And it's, uh, I don't know, man. It's, I just find the airing of that stuff online. Oh, yeah. Cause like, like, that's ta- her I'm, business, too. Yeah, like, I'm talking about it now. This is a public. Right, right, this, right. This is on my timeline. I know. You were, like, I saw her name was on there, and I was like, I guess you can say it because it's, it's on there. But it's, I don't but know it's her. Not, yeah, it's not yours to, like, at the same time, it's not yours to talk about this girl. Like, she don't want, like, I wouldn't want you ever to put, like, Ansley's going through some hard, like, Dude. don't put my business out there, especially when I just broke up with you. I should not have access to this lady's personal business. Yeah. I have access to this lady's personal business. But mostly it's like, Dude, it just sounds like you're a fucking albatross hanging on this woman's neck. Let her fly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, it's uh. Oh, so what? What was your apology to old couples? <laughs> <'Cause> well, I, <laughs> I, dude, I wanted to apologize for how much. Do you want them to apologize to you? Are you sure they're... you did this too <laughs> soon? <laughs> well, I just no. I mean, it's not too. It is too soon because it's still raw, and I'm not sorry yet. But <laughs> I, I gotta be over this when people air out their shit on faith, their personal business on Facebook. Yeah. Because I see it, and I'm like, why are you? doing that yeah like your life is going to change in a month yeah like you'll be back on your like and that's still going to be out there that's that's still going to be even if you erase it and delete it i still remember it yeah yeah i'm still going to see you remember that you got on facebook and you whined about not being a good like dude it's it's if if dude r kelly wouldn't suck this dude's dick <laughs> dude you're 40 you got to be a better man than this you got to be like be somebody a woman wants to be with uh-huh you know dude his other post because he got a lot of uh he got a lot of likes he got on like, his first one yeah 90 which is for a post this long yeah right i'm still scrolling right right that's that's a lot yeah to, to read that whole entire thing and um well because it's interesting to like see into somebody else's pathetic life like and i'm only calling it pathetic because at this moment he's at rock bottom right yeah he's he, like, well, so he so he says yeah right and so then, i'm not judging it i'm just like that's what he's putting out there right so then he he he's like feeling feeling all hot from all the likes that he got yeah and then his next post was i might as well air this too it's like yeah, no oh, yeah stop don't air this too like all these likes aren't because they think this is healthy for you people are just like yeah, so I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry I feel that way when I when I see this, but I still feel that way. Yeah, I'm, tr- I'm working on it. Yeah, but my bad. This is gross. My bad. This sucks. You suck. My bad. <laughs> Figure it the fuck out. I'm so sorry. I'm so <laughs> sorry. <laughs> like, good lord, dude. You fuck. Then it's like the thing that he also. I just started college. You know, blank, blank, blank. The college, the community college that he started for the first time at 35 years old. He's 35. Three weeks ago when I thought my life was stable. Why do you think your life was stable when you and your chick were in fucking marriage counseling? Yeah. You know? Like, this is the type of delusional shit why she... You're hard to be with. Yeah. You know? I enrolled and got hella financial aid, so it made it sense to give it a shot. I started Monday. Didn't want to tell anybody at first because I didn't want anyone checking up on me about it or to know I failed or give, gave up. At Pussy. community college? Pussy. You're going to fail or give up at community college? Right. Get your shit together, you 35-year-old. My bad. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to judge you either. <laughs> so that you're pulling it out of me. <laughs> yeah. But now I feel kind of dumb because I don't know how I'm going to conquer such a huge undertaking oh, during a personal crisis this big. Dude, if he doesn't get his shit together and just at least get a community college degree, then Dude, I don't know what to do right? with him. You'll yeah. Fuck him up. <laughs> Dude, I will have Anthony fuck. Dude, you will fuck him up. Too. <laughs> he is slight of frame. I mean, and again, and, and not to kick a man while he's down. No, no, but this should, but this should be a wake up call for him to get his shit together, not another pity party. Like, yes. Don't air your shit publicly if you don't want me talking about it on my podcast. Yeah. That's and weird. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm sorry. Me too. My bad. <laughs> now you got me apologizing to My him bad. too. <laughs> but listen, we, we tell the truth and be truthful. This is who we really are. Yeah. <laughs> this is why we're trying to find enlightenment, Anthony. <laughs> we're trying. Yeah. Yeah. For him too. We want enlightenment for yeah, him too. Yeah, because I mean. Like, this would be the advice we'd give him, right? Absolutely. Dude, get your shit together. Yeah. You, you're making too many excuses. Yeah. Get out there and fucking face it, man. It sucks. It's hard. It's tough. Yeah. But you can't have her out there shielding you from all the elements. Like, she's out there. Dude, that's crazy. Yeah. It's like, what, then what does she go to you for? What does she need you for? If if she, if you need her for financial support, mental support, emotional support. Yeah. 
There was an article I read and I was going to write about it, but um, it got into like clinical um, mental health stuff and the way that they like frame that. I was like, I, I can't follow all these terms. But basically the, what, the clickbait part of it was that m people with more masculine traits or m more masculine um, are less subject to depression, whether Ooh. whether you're a female or a male. Whoa, look at these guns. <laughs> I love life. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it was it was based off, and the, the way they did the masculine traits was based off of another test that they give you people. You see these abs? I don't get sad. <laughs> <laughs> look at these chisel good looks. Look at the way I age gracefully. <laughs> Ain't nothing sad about this life. <laughs> But I mean, there's something to like, there's something to people that like the way you approach life, if you're going to be like, okay, I'm going to be a leader or I'm going to, you know, um, take, take control of the situation versus I'm going to be a victim to it. And they're not saying that women traits are victim, but they're like nurturers and caring. And like when you said, like, what's she coming to you for? Like, you know, it's, there's, I mean, and it goes the other way too. Like, I mean, I can't be a victim in life and make, and you're not going to feel good about that, you know? Yeah, well, it's, it's the everybody should be a little masculine, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. It's the difference between going out and attacking life or having life attack you. Yeah, it's like, and, and right now he feels like he's being attacked by life. He feels yeah. like life is happening at him. Yeah, you know, or to him. Yeah, rather than he is is conquering life, and you know, you don't have um, you don't have to be crushing it, you know, but you have to be going after it. Yeah, you know, yeah. Like that that is going to make you desirable to a woman. Like if you. Like well, I think you can step step it back from that. Like this good that's that's advice for anybody. Like not just to be desirable for a woman. Like yeah. it's yeah, yeah, like yeah, to desirable to, to yourself. Yeah. Yeah, to have to enjoy your life. Like you can't just be letting the world hit you. No. Right? Like yeah. when you wake up in the morning like decide what you want out of that day, you know? It's, Put a little thought into it. So so I want, I, what I want to do is like take that thing that I read cuz it's long, you know, and I only read snippets of it. But, like, have him read that and go, now, would you want that woman <laughs> to be with this guy? <laughs> right, right. You like, know, she's, like, like she's going to be with somebody. Like, uh, give him, like, is like this somebody things. that you, you would, like, is this person good enough for her? Yeah, because he wasn't like, now, now I don't know how, like, I just, you know, she's, my, she's the my major financial provider. She provides all the finances for this family. I just started community college. Now, I don't know how I'm going to do it. Right. Yeah, you do. Yeah. We know how. It, it's simple. We know how to get money in this world. Yeah, it's like, wait, you don't, you don't have any kids or anything? No, he has kids. Oh, he has From kids? From a different relationship. Oh, right. She's oh, right, right. I forgot that part of it. Oh, e. that Dude, doesn't make it better. No. You don't get to be 35 with no job. Dude, this motherfucker is living a Peter Pan lifestyle. Yeah. Just loving it. Yeah. Lo just living life and like, why is it? But but everything was so good for us. <laughs> I, like, I mean, I guess it was <laughs> for <know>? him. <laughs> that, that's why he thought everything was stable that last week. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like, she wasn't yelling at me. It was like really <laughs> good in our relationship. Yeah. You know, it's like, do you not see? She was probably skipping around like with all this baggage off of her back. Like, I'm about to leave this man. Yeah. Like, she wasn't even like, like when she was looking at him, seeing him do his annoying things. It wasn't like, oh, this is what I, it was like. I'm not going to have to see that on Monday. Dude, that is like the, uh, so like when a woman is about to break up, you know, like when a woman that has kids, that is out with her kids, she's flirting to the world. Yeah. Like when you see a woman who's about to break up with a man, you're like, is that a CEO? <laughs> yeah. It's like, man, she's that woman has great posture. <laughs> <laughs> Goodness gracious. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, yeah, I, I, I guess I'm like also sorry that I also publicly aired out his his, but I didn't. He did that, you know. Whatever. <laughs> um, I think we're I think we're good on the free episode. Yeah. You wanna you wanna give out? We had talked about giving out jacked awards. Yeah. Um. So I had a lady I wanted to give a jacked award. Oh to. hell yeah. She was. I don't even know her name. I know she's from Calabasas, California. So she was in her house. Her five year old's playing out in her front yard. She looks out the window and a mountain lion is eating her five year old. So. She runs out of her house and starts punching the mountain lion. And the mountain lion let go, and she saved her kid. Yeah. I want to give her an award. Fuck yeah, this woman gets an award. I mean, that's, that's, that's the jacked woman of the week. The jacked, right? the jacked human of the week. Yeah. 
And then the other fun part of the story was the wildlife officials said they went out and they saw an aggressive mountain lion, so they shot it. And then later on, they did the test to confirm it was really the guilty cat that attacked the five-year-old. Yeah. <laughs> but like, what mountain lion isn't aggressive? Like, yeah. they went out and they saw a mountain lion and yeah, they like, shot it. Yeah, right. <laughs> like, when they saw it, it like took an aggressive posture. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, yeah, it did mountain lion shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They were probably like, phew, it was him. Yeah, caught him. <laughs> I don't even quite believe him. I, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, he was just, yeah. Yeah, that's Mount what they Lyman, do. He was trying to trap, got aggressive. Huh. <laughs> huh. That's yeah. weird. Weird. That's but weird. yeah, but this lady, she, uh, she punched him out in line enough to make it let go of her son. That's crazy. I mean, I, I, I can't even imagine what those punches must have. Like was was she a fighter? Like did she did she learn on the fly how to like generate power from the ground up? You have you know? to imagine she had crazy mom strength in that moment, right? Yeah. Like her adrenaline was through the roof. Like she could have lifted a car in that moment. Instead, she was rain, raining down hammer punches. That's wild. To yeah. Transform like like crazy savior kid mom strength into the 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 end of a punch. Yeah. You know, like all that's one punch. That's one punch woman. Yeah, she <laughs> for sure. Dude, she fucking, <laughs> I mean, she knocked out a, a, what was it? A mountain line. A mountain line. A she mountain line. A mountain line. That's one punch woman. Yeah. Like her kid had some scratches on his head and stuff, yeah. but like he was fine. Yeah. She, so not only that, she saw a mountain line getting at her kid. She got to that mountain uh, line. She got to that scuffle. Oh, she's quick flew enough. there. Yeah. So that he didn't like have any serious damage. Yeah. And then fucked it up. Yeah. Yeah. That's one punch woman. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. Like I imagine when she like went there, she was like, just like that one toe was dragging. Like she was like flying yeah. low. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, like, she was uh, lean. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely at like a 30 degree angle, like 25. Like yeah. she was angled. Yeah. She, yeah. Damn. She animated at that cat and yeah. fucked it up. <laughs> <laughs> that cat had a shitty day. He yeah. was like, oh, I almost ate a little kid and then oh, I got shot. <laughs> poor, poor mountain lion. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he just went home with two black eyes. <laughs> and then all his friends were like, What happened to you, man? <laughs> like I got punched by a mom. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and then and then some park rangers come along. He's like, I'm tough. Yeah. <laughs> it's like <laughs> she only had to tell me twice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're like, damn, he got fucking domestically abused <laughs> by a woman. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Wow. All right. That is, I think we did it. Yeah. I think we did it. We, uh, but did you reach enlightenment, Sydney? I, I don't know, man. I feel like uh, I, un- I uncovered another part about myself that needs smoothing out. You healed? You healed another square of you? I didn't heal you? yet because I'm still fucking pissed by that behavior. <laughs> that behavior really sticks in my crawl. Right? Okay, but you've uncovered it. You're Working at least it. looking at it. That's like part Working of the process, it. right? You've got to look at what yeah. needs to be fixed first. Yeah, and it's and really honestly the the way that I fix it is that when I think of it, only funny stuff comes out. Cuz mm-hmm. right now it's like it pisses me off. Yeah. And like changes my behavior, it changes my mood a little bit. Yeah. But I and I can't even only see it for how hilarious it is. Yeah. You know? So I want to be I got to get to the point where I mean that's how I heal. Yeah. You know, like once something can be processed through hilarity, I'm good. We're good. I'm good with that thing. Yeah, the way I think about it, though, is like that behavior, like it's not like he is living the life that that behavior causes. Right. Mm-hmm. Like like he scooted along for because like she probably felt like you for a long time. Right. Like stuck in her craw. Right. Yeah. But now she's leaving that guy like she's on. She has looked at it. She is smooth and she's going to heal and move on. Is that it's also advice you can give to that mountain lion? <laughs> <laughs> if those like, park dude, rangers it was, it didn't was uh, tough, you got out of that situation, <laughs> just heal and move on. Don't fuck with kids anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, um, yeah, yeah, you're right. Did you reach enlightenment this week? I did not reach enlightenment, you know, but I'm about to be 40, so um, I think it's about time. Yeah. You know, I'm not sure what's going to happen on the day. I feel like it's going to be a big day. I uh, I hope so. I mean, it's, it's exciting. Yeah. I mean, but at the same time, it's like, this is life now. Yeah. You know, it's like, what do we, what do we do? But uh, maybe next week. 
Maybe next week. We'll both reach enlightenment next week. Yeah. You'll be 40. I'll be 40. I'm we'll be in our 40s. I'm not even 40 yet. <laughs> we're we're trying to achieve enlightenment with somebody who's not even 40 yet. Yeah. I, um, and let's get these shout outs done. Shout out Mike Butler, Mike Levy, Liz Bot, Doc, Kevin Stevens, Julian from Canada, Canada, Canada and his wife, <laughs> Meg.says.so. Kevin Lau, Mary Jo Butterly, what up? Ke- uh, Nicole Raj, Rick, Janelle, Coach Rick, that it was. Keith Butts, um, Andrew Pace, Kyle Hancock, Erica Daniels, Levi Mercer, Justin Masabi, Ezekiel Ellis, Logan, Ryan, Roger Downs, Joe Rob, Joe Francis, and his girlfriend's company, Saved by the Reef. TJ James, our man down under holding us down. Nick Cupsey and his two books, Lost in the Mail, and the five people you meet in Wawa. This old guy, don't remember who you are. Uh, Chris Bruno. Kevin McGrand, Graham Hoffman, Chris Tucker, Derek Towson, my brother, different last name, Sean Dowdy, Guy Patterson, Brian Bachner, Toscani Rodriguez, Sean the Boner King, John Montag, Sam Amon, Cam Snyder, uh, Jacob Amin. Man, we got a lot of names that need to be on a fucking flight list. <laughs> <laughs> Sam Amon, Jacob Amin, and uh, damn it. I forget what the, damn it. Anyway. Oh, I'm not going to forget Roscoe Falcone. Uh, right now. Yeah. All right. You're currently listening to Melissa Wild Kingdom and her band, Circadian Clock. Check out Melissa and her music on Beethoven Violin. You can also check out her band stuff on Spotify. 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 Thank you so much for listening, guys. Love you, guys. Yeah. Shake out your.